Good morning, Ian. We'll give her a minute or so to hop on in. My TV is not on the right channel. <sighs> All right, we'll get started. See if anybody wants to join us. We'll start with just our forward arm circles here. I'm gonna fix my settings here. Happy Tuesday. Hope you had a good weekend. I uh, had a very, actually, a relaxing weekend. Didn't do too much on Saturday, and then a bunch of work on Wednesday, uh, on Wednesday, on uh, Sunday. I don't know what day it is anymore. And it was, those, it was pretty good. And we'll do some chest openers. Only a couple more weeks of my clinical and then I am done. So sad, but happy at the same time. Excited to be done so I can get a little bit of a break from classes and stuff and overhead. Because we get a, we get a break at, um, no more classes on, uh, I'm losing my train of thought, on um, January. It's like our first break since, uh, since uh, well, the rotation's next. Last January, I, my brain's still asleep, I guess. Our last break since, yeah, last January, because of everything that was going on. So it'd be nice to take a month off and see some family maybe and all that fun stuff. And we'll go to our squats. Oh, and I'm not loving the drive to Newport each morning. <laughs> it's uh, it's not the most fun. I don't know how you uh can do it every day. <laughs> it's not it's not awful, but I definitely would much rather prefer a ten to twenty minute drive than uh almost 30 minutes. A few more of these. And we'll go to the side lunges. Have a little pulse if you want. Oh, my, outside of my knee. I didn't even do anything yesterday. So my knee is feeling it. We'll each side a couple more times, then we'll get started. Awesome. All right. We'll hit the floor for some core. All right. 30 seconds. Ready. And let's go. Say the eighth, it must be. Ah, I'm losing my timer. I don't know what happened. And relax that one. 
We'll pick it up on the hands next. Ready. And go. There. For some reason, my, uh, use my iPad to look at the, uh, look at the, uh, workout and then also to, uh, uh, look at the timer at the same time. And for some reason, they would not want to cooperate together. And relax that one. We'll do a little side plank next. Do a little side plank. So same thing, lifting up that side. Ready. And go. I wonder where everybody is today. Probably sleeping in. I wonder how many people are also moving to online um, online uh, work and that sort of stuff recently. I have quite a few friends who started doing that within the past couple weeks or so. So if I was working online and did not have to get up early, I would not be here either. <laughs> and relax the side, we'll flip over to the other side. Ready, and lift it on up. Three, two, one, and relax. Flip over to the back. Last one here, we got dead bugs. Ready, and go. Perfect. Almost up. <clears throat> Three, two. One and done. Perfect. Ready to roll? Ready to get moving? All right. So we got we got a fun round. We have three exercises. We're gonna go 30 seconds, 20 seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. So a lot of quick mo movement. We'll do a few rounds like this. This is one that Adam likes to do quite often. I don't think I've done one in this format for a while. So our first move, we have squats. So there's body weight, you come up, explode up nice and on your toes. All right, so we got 30 seconds for our first round. Ready, and let's squat. Boom, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Almost done. Five, four, three, two, and one. Next one, we're going to high knees. Get those knees up, forward, and back. All right, ready, and let's go. Perfect, ready, get those knees up. When you get those knees up. So we conquered the mouse last Saturday and uh, we brought uh, 
came outside and he disappeared. So he's probably back in the building now, but <laughs> um, so we're probably gonna have to get a little contraption of sorts, similar to what you said, and then put the downstairs. And Roxy Tiny's. We're gonna go to our next one, which we either have um, lateral hops, pogo hops, or just a heel raise. All right, ready, and let's go. So, so yeah, that was a uh, very inner, very entertaining. Um. Saturday workout, if I do say so myself, I was just like, I didn't even know what was going on. <clears throat> Almost done here. Three, two, one, and relax. So now we're gonna go through all three of those for a 20 second round next, for a 20 second round. All right, so we're going back to the squats. Ready, and let's go. Perfect. And relax those so squats. We're going to go to the high knees. We're going to go to the high knees. Ready. And go. Boom. Perfect. Ready to get those knees up. Ready to get those knees up. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. We're going to the uh, lateral hops, the pogo hops, or the calf raises next. Ready, and go. Here's how many people watch these afterwards at home and do these. Um, I was just saying because I was like, I know I've like, has my class doing and I, I know exactly which, which uh, variation of each move you do each time. But I'm like, well, maybe somebody at home is going to be watching this, you know? So I'll still say the other ones. And I'm like, well, will they? So if you're watching this now, give a little shout out on Facebook. Say you saw me talking about this. And um, then that's how we'll know. That's how we'll know. All right. <clears throat> and relax these ones. So now we've got a 10 second round. Super, super quick. We're going to the squats, the high running, the high knees running forward and back. And the lateral hops or calf raises or pogo hops. All right, start with the squats, 10 seconds, and let's go. Oh, perfect, nice explosiveness, and relax. We're gonna go to the high knees, forward and back. Ready, and let's roll. And relax. I done a little bit extra of those. And we'll go to the calf raises, 10 seconds. And let's go. Perfect. Have you had any coffee yet this morning, Ann? No. What are you doing? This is your coffee. Yeah, I guess that's fair. I guess that's fair. And relax that one. Do you, you don't drink coffee at all? No, uh, tea or anything in the morning? Tea, yeah. I do decaf tea at night and then coffee in the morning. So I do, I get the best of both worlds. So, all right. So we got 20 second round once again, going back to those squats. We're gonna go 20 second round into 30 second round. So going back to those squats, ready. And let's roll. I have two different types of tea. I have like a peppermint, decaf, um, one of my favorites. And then I have a lemon green tea. 
and they're both decaf, supposedly naturally decaf, so they don't put like the chemi chemicals in it or whatever that takes the decaf out. I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but. And relax these ones. We're gonna go to the high knees, forward and back, 20 seconds. Ready, and let's go. Perfect, get those knees up. I don't know if that chemical makes much of a difference. I've never really heard much about it. I didn't even realize it was a chemical that made them decaf. I thought it was like a GMO um, type thing. And relax these ones. We're gonna go to the calf raises one last time here. Ready, and let's go. Oh, one last time. We got two more times. I lied. Didn't mean to trick you like that. Didn't mean to trick you like that. So there was a science experiment done, kind of on the topic of coffee, where they had people, um, they had people, they were coming into like an office. Um, three, two, one, and done with those. One more round. We have 30 seconds. One more round. We have 30 seconds here. So we're going to the squats for 30 seconds. Ready, and let's go. So then um, people come into an office. I don't think they knew they were part of an experiment at the time, and then afterwards they like told them they were um, to get their consent or whatever. And I can't think of exactly what it, what it, anyway. Um, they, they had them, they did it a couple different ways. They had people come in um, either carrying a hot cup of coffee or a cold cup of coffee. And people who were carrying the cold, the warm cup of coffee, naturally were like more friendlier and more um, like positive and that sort of stuff. Where people who were carrying the cold coffee um, were more like not necessarily negative, but and relax these, relax these, but they weren't as like warm. I guess is what you could call it. So it's pretty interesting. Just by holding it, the person was more warm. Um, so we're going to high knees, thirty seconds, and let's go. So um, what they did, and then, so the first time that people got to choose, um, like if they were carrying hot coffee or cold coffee, um, because they're like offered, do you want it? Hey, like, thanks for like delivering this thing. Do you want a cup of coffee? That was like kind of, do you want a cold cup or a hot cup? That's how they did it. Then the second time they uh, said, oh, have a cup of coffee and like gave it to them. And, and then they still found the same effect. Almost done here, almost done. We got less than 10 here, less than 10. Three, two, one, and relax. We're going to the calf raises for the last time. Lateral hops, pogo hops, or calf raises. Ready, and go. Last, last time for real this time. So then they did, so they did it with, uh, they gave them hot coffee or cold coffee. They, hey, you want a cup of coffee? And then gave them that. And, they went, and then they would like, then they had like deliver something or go to a different room and talk to somebody. And then that person would like rate that if they were warm or if they weren't warm, pretty much on like a different scale, different questionnaire. 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Um, and so they, so they, uh, it was pretty cool. So in the last one, they had it, all right, and relax these, grab a quick drink. We're going on to round number two. Um, so the last one, while well, they were taking the elevator to deliver the package, they had somebody on the elevator, either holding a cold cup or, or a warm cup, and get and said, "Hey, do you mind holding this?" And the person like tied their shoe, so the person held the coffee for like ten seconds, maybe, and gave it back, and they still found the same thing. So just by like holding a warm cup or like a warm cup of thing, you become more warm person, even if it's like ten seconds and you're just barely drinking. It was pretty cool, pretty cool study. All right, enough talk about that. Let's get back on track. I'm just everywhere these past few days. We're going to reverse lunges next. Ooh. I need it like that one. We're gonna go right from one side to the next. 30 seconds, ready, and let's roll. Oh, perfect. Perfect. I don't know what I did to me. I didn't do anything. I was just, uh, ooh. Last night, I was like standing at work all day. Obviously, just kind of doing stuff, and then I uh, got home and like the second I got out of my truck, I like stood on my knee and I was like, ooh. I don't know what it is, but it's not, not having it today.
three, two, one, and relax. We're gonna go to um, a couple options for you. We have broad jumps, so we're sinking low, hopping, sinking landing, and then with back pedal, or we're just doing um, quick runs forward and back. All right, 30 seconds, and let's go. Oh, nice quick feet. Oh. By now, and you could be like a sprinter. You've like done so many of these short little things. I'll sign you up for the Olympics next year. Yeah. And you can do like the 100 meters. Five, four, three, two, and done. Last one here. We have either scissor jacks, one leg forward, one leg back, hopping, or we're going up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. 30 seconds. Ready. And let's go. Cool. So after this, we're going to a 20 second round. Perfect. Nice quick feet. Nice quick feet. Well, I'm going to keep this, this study a little bit short, but it was actually interesting. I learned it last night in my economics class from a, um, a TED talk that I had to watch for the class. And it's talking about like wealth gaps. And I never really, I've heard people talk about them, but I never really knew what it, what it really meant. And they compared different countries and they compared different like rates of like five, four, three, two, and done. All right. We're going back through all those three for 20 seconds this time. So we're starting with the reverse lunges. Ready. And let's roll. So these people um, like did a study and they were looking at a ton of different factors. Just every data out there, because they, they didn't want people like during the, they're like, because a lot of people go in there like, oh, they're like picking this factor to choose and this factor to choose, but they compared every factor that was like provided to them. Three, two, one, and done. We're going back to the broad jumps or the forward and back runs. Ready, and go. So they first looked at like income levels, like on average, like um, um, in different countries per so many people or whatever. And the United States was like the highest average income and then like Portugal is right behind them. Um, but there's no correlation. So like they're kind of, the plot was everywhere compared to like life expectancy. So like how long that's like how it started out. So if you live in a, a wealthy place, you not, you actually don't really live much longer and relax. We're going to go to the scissor jacks or the up, up, down, down snacks. All right. 30 seconds. And let's go. Nope, 20 seconds. You keep going though. Sorry. I said 30 seconds out of habit. No, it was actually 20 seconds. Well, so long story short, there's a bunch more data they go into, but the wealth gap, like having really rich people and then really poor people, which America is one of the um, worst places for that. Um, we're not the worst, but we're like probably second or third out of the countries they studied. Um, and three, two, one and relax. We got one more round through 10 second round this time. I'm not going to talk about this data here because then they, we're going to go for 15 seconds. You could because I love that stuff. That's social work too. And this country sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was actually, I was like, what, what would, I thought that was realistic earlier. What, what is the cost of um, moving out of, to a different country? Yeah. All right, we're going back to the reverse lunges. 10 seconds here. Ready, and let's roll. Well, once I get through these 10 second round, I'll go back to my study. I remember where I was at talking about it. Well, not my study, but the, but this, uh, study was looking into three, two, one, and relax. We're gonna go forward and backwards, forward and backwards, quick runs or broad jumps. Ready, and go.
three, two, one, and done. We're going to the scissor jacks or up, up, down, downs for 10 seconds. Ready and go. Three, two, one, and done. Perfect. And go try and grab one. We got a 20 second round, come back up, and I'll continue my talks on the thoughts. And we'll start with those reverse lunges, 20 seconds, and let's go. So the, the, they looked at each country by wealth gaps, and then they looked at like life expectancy and the smallest uh, wealth gaps actually lived the longest. Like Japan, you life expectancy is like through the roof. You're like it's like 86 years or something like that. Um, is it 86? 87. I don't know. It's really high compared. It's almost like 10 years longer than the United States. And Roxy's reverse lunges. We're going to the broad jumps or forward and backwards runs. Ready and let's go. Um, it was pretty cool. And then, um, then they looked at like mental health and the wage gap. Um, and the same thing kind of, kind of was the smaller wage gap, the less mental health issues there were. It was actually a pretty strong correlation with that. Um, and then, then they looked at, and then they kind of started like an analyzing like why that may be. And they started looking at more data and relax these forward and backward runs. We're going to go to the scissor jacks or up, up, down, downs. 20 seconds. Ready. And go. And then they took it. So they sent surveys out to all these countries. And, and this is where they did their own data compared to like pulling data from this specific website. Uh, or not website, but it was like a, some sort of, it was like called, it was like the World Bank data. I've never heard of the World Bank, but that it was a European study. Um, people from the UK are doing it. Three, two, one, and relax. One more, excuse me, one more round, 30 seconds. Starting with those reverse lunges. Ready, and let's go. Um, so they, uh, were, so they're from the European uh, there, it was from UK that the people person was doing the study and they use all World Bank information, which is supposed to be pretty good, I guess. I honestly had never heard of it, but anyway, so then they started sending their own surveys out and they were finding that, that if you like their fear and, and like anxiety of like public and being like embarrassed in public was like the biggest difference. So like if you live in a more... Uh, with a less wage gap, three, two, one, and we'll go to those broad jumps or forward and backwards lunges, or pff, forward and backwards lunges, forward and backwards runs, ready, and go. Um, so if you live like, so pretty much what they're saying is like, there's more, you, you mentally view yourself as more equal if there's less of a wage gap. And you also, they did another study, trust people more. So they, they took it like, they're like, there was like percentages of people that like, how much they trust somebody else, um, like near them pretty much. And in those, in the smaller wealth gaps, they trusted people up to like 60, 70%. And then in like the United States, it was like 20%. And it was like, it was interesting. And relax those. We got one last one here. One last one. Scissor jacks are up, up, down, downs. Scissor jacks are up, 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 down, downs for 30 seconds. Ready. And let's roll. So, um, yeah. So it was like related to like the wealth gap was related to like um, equality, which was like kind of the underlying thing and how you view people as like around you. Um, so in places where there's a lot of like, I view myself better than you, whether you say it or not, but because of that get wage gap, like, oh, I have more things sort of like, and then comparing it to people who, who didn't, um, there's more of that like fear of being shamed in public sort of like, um, and that and that other three, two, one, and done. 
grab a quick drink. We're going to go on to round number three. It was a super, it was like a pretty long TED talk. And I, at first, I, I usually don't always watch those TED talks because I, like, sometimes they're like, oh, yeah, it's kind of cool, but not really pertaining to my class. But I watched it a ton. You should see if you could find a talk about the book Evil Geniuses, because it's about, um, in our country, the rich people who have had an agenda for a while to pay less taxes. And it's over, like, 30 year span has made that gap huge. So Evil Geniuses, it's a good book. Evil Geniuses. And I don't hate my country, but you know what I mean. I wish I know, yeah, 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 I know what you mean. Less hate each other and more support each other. Anyway, yeah. end of my soapbox. No, you're good. You're good. I agree with that. And it's yeah, and it's not about the hate. It's just the frustration with like, why is this done this way when it seems like there's evidence that it would be done better the other way, and people either don't see the evidence or ignore the evidence. I don't know. I don't know. All right, this next round, we're still working on the legs this, ne this next round. We have side lunges for our first move here, going right from one side to the other. So if you're watching this at home, you can have a little hop, right from one side to the other. You got 30 seconds, ready, and go. Oh, there you go. Nice explosive hop there. Um, so, yeah, so it's pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool little, little thing, and that's kind of what Gone the Topic was like. You know, do you like the actually uh, TED talk I had to watch before that was like talking about big companies and why are they all come from the United States? Um, not obviously not all of them, but and relax those so side lunges. <laughs> We're gonna to go to lateral runs next. So a lateral shuffle, I guess what I should say. So we're here on our toes. We're going right from one side to the other side. 30 seconds and go. And so that same TED talk was talking about how all these big companies have come out of America and like why they've done so. Um, and it just kind of talks about how the idea of the free market and that uh, the uh, government doesn't really interfere, even though that's kind of a misconception. A lot of like they what they did, excuse me. They what they did is took the smartphone and looked at all these apps and stuff on like the Apple phone and how they were almost all of them were like originally government funded, um, and then they like did that. So I was talking about kind of how our government has like made it kind of helpful for those, for those companies, not necessarily and directly for that like wage gap, like a conversation, but, and relax those lateral runs. That was longer than 30 seconds, I apologize. <laughs> We're going to uh, the, la the, the last move of this round, we got jumping jacks. So either hopping or tapping up to the side. All right, 30 seconds for real and let's go. Watch it in time closely. I'll not let it slip. But yeah, that one, that one was also pretty interesting. I just talked about sort of differences in governments and how it affects our economies and that sort of stuff. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. We're going through all those for 20 seconds this round. 20 seconds this round. So we're starting with the side lunges. Ready, and let's roll. Spill my coffee on my face. Three, two, one, and done. We're gonna go to the lateral shuffles. Right from one side to the next for 20 seconds. And go. Perfect. Perfect. Did you get much snow out that way? No, I didn't hear in Bangor either. Three, two, 
one and relax. We're going to the jumping jacks for 20 seconds. Jumping jacks, ready and go. So I like, so here, I mean, there's like, you can still see the grass sort of like the grass peeking through the, the snow. It was a lot of ice though. It's very slippery in a lot of parking lots and stuff like that. Um, but um, uh, when I went to Newport, that's the place I'm looking for. Three, two, one, and done with those. Grab a quick drink. We got a 10 second round coming up. 10 second round coming up. We're going to our side lunges first. Ready and go. So we, um, so I went out to Newport yesterday, obviously for work, and they, uh, the ride there, it was, uh, and relax. Probably this is the 10 second round. This is a quick one. And we're those lateral shuffles. And let's go. Um, and they, uh, Wait, they have a ton of snow out there. I was so surprised. I was like, wow. I like, I guess I say a ton, but it was like, I don't know, 10 inches or so. And relax. It was hard to tell with the snow banks because obviously they plow it and it looks bigger than it is. But we'll finish up with those jumping jacks this 10 second round. And let's go. And done that round. Perfect. We got a 20 second round coming up with the same things. Going to the side lunge, side lunge, ready. And let's go. Perfect. So uh, I was very surprised by how much snow was out. I didn't even lose Pat, like, Somebody, I think somebody said that the stove was flashing when they went downstairs, so we lost the power at some point. Um, it was pretty windy, but I never noticed the power out power outage Saturday night. But I've, I had a lot of friends who lost power for quite a bit. And relax that. We're gonna go lateral shuffles next, lateral shuffles. 20 seconds, and let's go. It was actually pretty interesting too. Um, I have a buddy who works insurance and he um, has seen a ton of claims for people losing food in refrigerators because it, of the, uh, of the uh, power outage. I didn't realize that was a thing that you could uh, claim for and relax, even though I guess a lot of people do it, especially in Maine this time of year. We're going um, jumping jacks, 30 seconds, and go, or 20 seconds, sorry. Next round's 30 seconds, we haven't got there yet. So I didn't realize that was uh, such a common thing, because I uh, guess yesterday, Monday, I'm back to work, he had a bunch of, he had a bunch of claims for, uh, for like, we lost all the food in the refrigerator, which I never really thought about, but that adds up to quite a bit of money. And I mean, you need, if you lose everything in the refrigerator, and you kind of need that to, don't have food, that's not good. So, um, so a lot of times they do file, like it depends on the insurance company, but, and relax those ones. We got 30 seconds through all those. One more time here. We got side lunges, yes. Did we do, we didn't do a 30 second round, yeah. Um, 30 seconds, side lunges, ready, and go. I didn't think we had been doing the side lunges and you were just doing the shuffles. But um, I, uh, um, I was trying to thought. But yeah, I thought it was pretty interesting. I actually, so uh, I, my clinic, I was talking to one of the patients and we were just talking about how, um, like, and relax those. We're gonna to go to the shuffles for 30 seconds next. Ready, and let's go. 
we were just talking about how like I finally had a generator ready and all this other stuff and then talked about how if you didn't you just put an ice block in the fridge and in the freezer and it was just like like just like a how an old-fashioned ice box used to work and if you don't really open the refrigerator that much everything should stay okay so like, oh interesting 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 five four three two one and done Whew. we'll go to the jumping jacks for the last time this round the last time this round then we got some cool work we got some core to finish off with all right ready and let's go um so yeah it was uh so yeah if you ever lose power you know how a generator to keep your fridge on you put a nice block in the fridge and then put like a couple in the freezer and you just like don't open them too often and then yeah and there's something else I was going to say, but I don't remember what it was now. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. Perfect. Grab a drink. We got a little core to finish off. A little core to finish off. We're going to start on in a plank. We have shoulder taps. So feet a little bit spread apart, hands on the floor, tapping opposite shoulders. All right. 30 seconds here. Ready. And let's roll. Keep it up, almost there, almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. Next, we're gonna go to bird dogs. So you can do those on the hands and knees, you can do those on the plank. We're doing opposite, opposite leg, opposite arm, reaching out. Ready, and go. Perfect. Imagine you have a cup of water on your low back and you're trying not to let it spill. You can come, I'll come set my coffee on you. Five, four, three, two, and relax. We got two more exercises on our backside. We'll flip it on the back. Two more exercises for 30 seconds. First one here, we have bridge kicks. So we're digging the heels in, lifting up the hips, keeping them up in the air, alternating our kicks, all right? 30 seconds, and let's go. Almost done, less than 10, less than 10 here. Five, four, three, two, and done. All right. And we got last move here is hamstring walkouts. Hamstring walkouts, your favorite. Ready, and go. I say your favorite, but I know you actually don't mind these. You actually don't mind these. Yeah. 30 seconds of these and we're done. 30 seconds of these and we're done. Oh. 
almost on five, four, three, two, and done. Boom, perfect. Grab a drink if you need it, and then we'll start stretching out. We'll start stretching out. We'll sit on back, bones feet together. Awesome. Nice work today. Sorry, I got chatty there about all the all this stuff. Uh, are you what like uh are you not you're not online, right? For school at this moment in time? No. I didn't think so. I didn't hear anything yet, but it goes like one week at a, one week at a time. I don't know if I can unmute you, but if you're more than welcome to unmute yourself. Um, yeah, we'll straighten out a leg. The high school and middle school had to go remote a couple of days before Thanksgiving, but we're that hybrid mix where you can choose. Okay. Yeah, I guess that, that's, I think I heard something about that. Being in Newport, I hear like there, we get a lot of parents and stuff coming in. So, so I hear a lot about it, but I never follow it. Cause I'm like, cause they always say, oh yes, yeah, like for a day and then I mean, a couple days. And then I'm like, well, what's the week? And they're like, I don't know. Most of our positive cases have been related to somebody who didn't actually have much contact inside the building, luckily, like a contractor or things like that. Oh, okay. That's good then. So yeah. you're at, you're in Newport, but is it like Newport Elementary or? Yeah, it's called Sebastian Cook Valley Elementary, but yes. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I knew it wasn't called Newport, but I can't remember what it was. Because. It used to be, but two schools combined. So is Aetna Dixmont part of that or no? They're in our district, but they have their own pre-K to four. Okay. School. Because Edna Dixmont go to um Nicomas High School. Nicomas, yeah. Yes. Um, I didn't realize how like like big that area really is. Um it's a very big district geographically. Yeah, yeah. And then like so we so we see a lot of people from I don't think we see anybody as far as Dober Dober, but um, we've seen some people from like Milo and, oh, really? and I'm like, that's, that's a long drive, but well, there's not much up in Milo. And that's kind of what, um, besides a brewing company. Oh, I love Bissell brothers. Yes. Bissell brothers. Bissell brothers. I'm out. And I was like, I was actually Michelle and over there and I, we were going hiking in, um, Gulf Vegas. Vegas and we were just We're're driving. Ran where What's that? That's where I grew up. That's where our camp is. Really? And uh, oh wait, in Milo or in Gulf Vegas? In well, Brownville on School oh, Lake. Yeah, yeah. You pretty much go right through Brownville and turn there. Yep. Uh, so we were going from Bangor to there, and so we drove through Milo, and then we were uh, we just randomly saw this stuff outside, and we're like, "What the heck?" And it was a Bissell Brothers. We're like, "No, nowhere." But then we looked into it, and it's like where they grew up and all that stuff. And, yeah. And otherwise, would, there'd be no. Whistle Brothers, <laughs> right? Yeah, like, exactly. There. <laughs> exactly. And standing on up. So yeah, that was pretty interesting. But so yeah, so then we see we don't see many people from Scout Hegan. That's a little bit more of a drive, even though I think it's closer than Milo. Scout yeah, Scout probably... Hegan has a hospital and more services. Yeah, yeah, that's what it seems like. Um, but um, Pittsfield, which is like a cross on the other side of the highway, and, and a few towns over there, we don't see a whole lot from once in a while. Um, but I didn't realize how big it really was. Me either. So are you in that shopping plaza where Hannaford is, or are you in that little cluster of white buildings that's... I'm in the cluster of white buildings that's like uh, on uh, Ohio Street. Oh, wait, 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 sorry. You're talking about in Newport, sorry. Yeah. Route seven, right? Uh, so do you know where the Irving gas station is? The big one? Yeah. yeah. So 
So say you get off the highway at the Newport exit, you turn um, 157 Newport, not the first Newport one, the second Newport one. You, tear, you turn right off it, and then the Irving gas station, the McDonald's, the Burger King, everything's right there. You're technically in like Palmyra at first, and you get then it turns right into Newport. So you, you go to the lights, and you take a left. But you yeah. can take that little like turn to skip the lights beforehand after the Irving. Does that make sense? And then... Yeah. There's that car dealership. It's like a, is it a lead car dealership? No, it's Hartley's. Say that again. Hartley's, they're local. Yes, it is Hartley's. That's exactly what it is. I can remember. Um, there's like a pizza hut and then an old Italian restaurant used to be next to it. Yeah. We're kind of right behind next to that, that, uh, that place right there. That yeah, sense. I know what you mean. Yep. And uh, I don't know what it used to be, but behind it is like a laundromat and a chiropractic place. Yes. Yeah. And there's like a Chinese food restaurant on the other side. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for not leaving me hanging this morning, Anne. You go and have a wonderful day today. It was nice chatting with you. Thanks for showing up for just one person. Oh, and I always will, of course. I'll show up even if nobody shows up. Evil geniuses. Uh, Eva, I'll have to look into it. I'll look into it tonight. I cheated, though. I heard it on the main calling show on, you know, NPR there on the radio. Yeah. So I didn't read the book, but. Well, I'll have to figure, I'll have to uh, listen to something about it, too. If if Jeff Bezos paid taxes, we all could have health care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a, that's an interesting. Anyway, message. that's socialist of me, isn't it? All right, you have a good day. <laughs> you as well. Take Bye. care.